Imagine if you could rush through a McDonald's drive through or pick up a hot dog at the ballpark without fumbling for your wallet. Welcome to Hands-Free Payments, a quick and convenient way to pay for things in-store by just saying, I'll pay with Google. Hands-Free is currently supported at select locations, including McDonald's, Papa John's, and numerous other merchants. This video will show you, as a merchant or merchant developer, how you can enable hands-free payments through your point of sale system. But first, here's a quick overview of how the hands-free user experience works. As a customer, you simply download hands-free onto your Android or iOS phone. When you run the app for the first time, you'll add your photo, your name, and credit card information. And after that, you're ready to go. You don't even need to pull out the phone to make a payment. Hands-free uses Bluetooth low energy, Wi-Fi, and location services on the phone to detect when you're in a store that accepts hands-free. When you're ready to pay, simply tell the cashier, I'll pay with Google. The cashier will then press the Google Tender button. Hands-free automatically verifies your identity and shows your photo on the POS. It does so by using a hands-free in-store camera and visual identification technology. In some cases, if hands-free cannot find you right away, the cashier also has the option of searching for your initials to pull up your photo. Hands-free does not pass your full payment information to the store or the POS. Instead, once you're identified, Google interfaces with the merchant's preferred payment processor to complete the charge. Once the charge completes, you'll get a notification in the Hands-Free app as confirmation. As a merchant, here's how you get all this up and running in your store so that you can start accepting Hands-Free payments. Your Google representative will work with you to ensure that your store's hardware is set up properly to support Hands-Free customers. This includes ensuring that your POS is connected to the internet since it'll need to talk to the Hands-Free API to query and find the right customer to charge. The Hands-Free API exposes a number of calls, but they can be separated into two groups. One is for looking, for, looking up nearby customers, and the other is for performing transactions on a customer once you've identified the correct person. The first step is looking up a customer. When the customer says, I'll pay with Google, the cashier presses a Google Tender button on the POS. The POS then calls the Consumer Query API to query for nearby customers that are found using the in-store camera for visual identification. Here's an example of what your query request might look like and the response you'd get back. We would return to you the customer's first name, a URL that points to a photo of the customer, and a session token that you can use in subsequent API calls to perform transactions on the customer. Once you have all of this information, you'll need to make the POS display those customers to the cashier. Now, if no customers are found, the POS needs to display a prompt to the cashier to enter the customer's initials. The initials provide the hands-free system with a bit more data to pinpoint nearby customers. After the cashier enters the customer's initials, the POS should call the Consumer Query API again, this time including those initials. In most cases, the Consumer Query call will return a single customer, but it is possible that more than one customer will be returned. In this case, the POS needs to display all of the customers it finds so that the cashier can select the correct customers who's standing in front of them. As I mentioned, each customer has a unique session token, and you can use that session token to perform charges and refunds on that customer. To charge a customer, you'll need to use a transaction charge API call. Here's an example of what your charge request might look like. The call is pretty simple. All you need to do is pass parameters such as a request ID, the charge amount, the customer's session token, and optional line item data so that we can show the customer a digital receipt. In the response, we'll return to you whether or not the charge was successful, as well as details such as the charge amount and the payment instrument that was used. On the POS, you'll need to create a hands-free transaction confirmation screen or just leverage an existing screen to show the cashier the transaction confirmation. Occasionally, some charges require user confirmation. This happens when a risk engine detects a transaction that appears suspicious, and there are API calls to handle these scenarios. There are additional API calls for performing refunds and canceling transactions too, and these are outlined in our full API documentation. This has just been a high-level overview of the API, so if you're interested in setting up hands-free payments, please reach out to us. 
a Google representative can help get you set up with your own account, access to the full API documentation, and even a reference implementation and sample code to get you ramped up quickly. If you want to learn more, please reach out to us at handsfree at google.com. For now, keep on paying with Google, and thanks for watching.